The book of Lamentations, it's one of the most interesting books in the Bible. It's literally a book about lamenting, expressing sorrow and grief. And often in our culture, that can be something that is seen as something, well, not favorably. That it may be a sign of weakness to lament or to express sorrow. But I think this book allows for us to see that to lament, to express sorrow, is not actually a lack of faith, but allows us to give a full expression of faith. Well, you say, what do you mean? Well, let me read the last verse of chapter 4. O oh, beautiful Jerusalem, your punishment will end. You will soon return from exile. But Edom, your punishment is just beginning. Soon your many sins will be exposed. You see, this book shows to us the emotional weight of the consequences of sin. And to be able to release that, to be able to express the sorrow, that's what Jeremiah is doing throughout this book. But I love how this chapter ends. Sorrow is but for a moment, at least for the believer. You see, we may experience in our own lives consequences for decisions and actions, and also the decisions and actions of others. But we can also be encouraged that Jesus took upon himself the consequences for our sins. And one day, every present sin, every future sin, the consequences, the dynamics, the impacts will one day be done away with. You see, we're headed to a future where there is no more sorrow, no more sin, no more shame. God will rule. There'll be a new heaven. There'll be a new earth. And as you read this book, as you read this chapter, be reminded of the necessary element to sorrow over sin but also of this beautiful reminder that one day sorrow will end. One day, you and I, we will be with Jesus forevermore, where there is no more sin, no more shame, and no more sorrow.